Richard Sandrak was given the nickname Little Hercules at a young age for a good reason. His powerful frame was unlike any other child's, with the ability to accomplish 600 push-ups and sit-ups in a single day's workout, and bench press nearly three times his weight. It's no wonder that he became one of the world's youngest bodybuilders after living a life of rigorous exercises and strict diets. Years have passed since he initially drew the attention of the media to his stronghold. However, the issue remains as to where he is now. And, after all these years, has he kept his fantastic body? Pavel and Lena Sendrak welcomed their first child, Richard, into the world in a small Ukrainian village. Both the mother and the father have a strong athletic background. Pavel was a world-renowned martial arts champion, while Lena was a prominent aerobics athlete. With that in mind, it appeared from the start that the infant was doomed to compete. Their son's athletic prowess, on the other hand, was discovered years before anyone could have predicted. When Richard was two years old, the family moved to Philadelphia to start a new life. Weightlifting was introduced to the little child immediately after his arrival in the United States, believe it or not. Pavel's first order of business, as a martial arts specialist, was to construct a home gym to maintain his strength. It was there that the youngster first started toddling about the exercise equipment. Father, Pavel, began encouraging his son to pick up modest hand weights early on. He also taught the boy some basic stretching and martial arts moves while he was at it. These simple workouts were the foundation for Richard's strength training. Pavel immediately saw Richard's natural aptitude and began encouraging his toddler son to develop it. Soon after, he had devised a unique fitness routine for the child. Richard's mother, Lena, recounted her son's early moves towards a fitness career later on. Her son, she claims, was three or four years old when he attempted to lift his father's huge barbells. Rather than completely dissuade their kid from weight training, they chose to equip him with something a little less strenuous. The parents got to work making special half-pound dumbbells for their eager youngster. Pavel also began working on improving Richard's balance he was soon able to stand on one foot on top of a basketball with ease. Before long, Pavel became hell-bent on transforming his elementary-aged son into a miniature bodybuilder. Richard caught the eye of a personal trainer, Frank Giardina. Pavel and Frank Sendrak's four-year-old son, Richard, spent nearly all of his childhood in the gym. He didn't attend school, lacked friends, and wasn't allowed to play with his toys. Pavel prioritized his son's training above the frivolous pleasures of children. After years of hard work, Pavel Sendrak's son, Richard, has made his debut as Little Hercules. Richard can bench press up to 210 pounds and balance out his body with martial arts moves and balancing rampaging rides. The family began to tour across the United States and became an overnight sensation. Richard was also a contortionist, able to nail splits with ease. He now works as a product ambassador for a variety of companies. He decided it might be a good idea to cut back on Richard's workout schedule. Sandrak was fed a powdered drink for years. No one knew what was in the drink, but soon allegations surfaced that the power contained steroids. The media began questioning the 11-year-old's diet, and he vehemently disputed the existence of steroids, citing his mother's almost always prepared the drink. But Lena wasn't sure what was going into her son's body. Whenever she mentioned it to Pavel, he grew violent. When Giardina finally confronted Pavel with his concerns, he exploded. The elder Sandrak yelled at Giardina to keep out of the family business. Frank Giardina resigned and left the Sandrak clan. At home, everything spiraled out of control. Pavel became aggressive, beating and kicking his wife and kids. Despite public praise, Richard and his family had to hide bruises from devoted followers. Richard's life altered in 2003 when he was 11. With Giardina's charges came increased familial conflict. As a result, Pavel became violent, mostly towards his wife. Things became worse, and Richard had to call the cops on his father. Believing that the authorities were chasing him, the small child begged them not to scream their sirens and provoke him. When they came, Pavel Sendrak was arrested. Richard and his family had to remake themselves. He denied missing his father, insisting that his absence was a comfort. He kept training, but less strenuously. 
Despite his unusual upbringing, he gradually became a typical kid. I try not to worry about my past, too much since life is short, he said. With Pavel gone, Richard's longtime trainer, Frank Giardina, rejoined him. He taught him to play and introduced him to junk food. He went to school for the first time and made pails. He started rollerblading. While all was going on, Lena was divorcing her husband for good. Though life returned to normal, Richard's bodybuilding career was far from over. Richard's life began to resemble any other American kids after his father's arrest. Despite his struggles to acclimate, he discovered new hobbies and interests. Richard's modifications were forced by a social services court who banned him from lifting weights until he was 16. Richard didn't mind losing muscle mass over time. I looked like a monster with gigantic, huge muscles. I overworked, he admitted in one interview. An arrest year later, Pavel was released. He was immediately placed under mental supervision and threatened with deportation, becoming a minor player in Richard Sendrak's life. Richard was also included in the documentary, The World's Strongest Boy. It detailed his life and emphasized his physical prowess. The film also speculated on how he gained his incredible strength. Richard Sendrak, age 11, was observed for a month during his summer vacation in 2014. A huge fan base, despite reducing his tough workouts, which his mother had helped create using a personalized fan site. Though officials forbade him from exercising with weights, the documentary featured his modified post-Pavel routine. People thought his activities were better suited for a boot camp than his father's training. Richard and Lena Sandrak terminated connections with Pavel when he abused them. Lena pushed her son to seek a career in bodybuilding due to his natural aptitude and global audience. She hired a live-in talent manager named Marco Garcia to locate work for her son. Soon, Garcia was able to help Richard shine. People began to wonder what happened to little Hercules after he disappeared for several years. The public got a long-awaited upgrade in 2008. At 15, he got an honest interview to Inside Edition. With time, he revealed how his father had pushed him to the limit to achieve his body. He also took the occasion to dispel suspicions about his steroid use. Around the same time, Sandrak was cast in a fitness series called Workout Videos for Kids on YouTube. This employment gave him the chance to traverse the country again. So he was put into a position where he could advocate wellness for children worldwide. Garcia's goal as Sandrak's talent agent was to assist him to keep his strength while maintaining Richard's normalcy. Richard, like any fitness enthusiast, still trained five times a week, but he was allowed to eat whatever he wanted. In 2009, Sandrak made his Hollywood debut in a film directed by Garcia. Garcia's project, titled Little Hercules in 3D, included Hulk Hogan and Judd Nelson. The film follows a 12-year-old Hercules, nicknamed Little Herc, as he leaves Mount Olympus for Burbank, California. The film's plot may be a touch cliché, but it allowed Richard to work with his idols. It also added an acting role to his portfolio, which helped him earn future assignments. Richard portrayed Little Herc in full. In 2012, he starred in The Legends of Nathia, an assassin priest. The advantages of having a live-in talent manager became evident. Richard soon recognized he didn't want to devote his life to acting. In fact, he was starting to ponder leaving bodybuilding altogether. Richard realized as he grew older that he had never been permitted to have a regular life, but he wasn't enraged at being shoved into bodybuilding. In fact, he felt grateful for his unique journey to adulthood. He was ready for a dramatic change and a break from his rigorous lifestyle. He desired a new life path free of diets, weights, and media attention. Richard's sculpted, muscular form has captivated the public for years. So, as he kept bodybuilding as an adult? Sandrak has clearly been active and hasn't wasted his time away from the camera binging on junk food, but Richard's career and physical makeover has exceeded all expectations. Inside Edition recently re-examined Richard Sandrak's life and discovered some intriguing new developments. Reporters anticipated to see a muscular, tan young man but he's lost his bodybuilder physique. The days of unending bench presses and sit-ups are long gone. In pursuit of his newfound interest, he's slimmed down to the point where he looks like any other individual. 
Richard Sandrak, age 26 and 6 feet tall, now sports a distinguishing ponytail and beard. His rippling biceps and abs are gone, leaving him with a more natural athletic image. The change astonished reporters. They were even more surprised to uncover Sandrak's two intentions behind the scenes. A natural adrenaline junkie, Richard started adult skating, jogging, and stair climbing. He realized he couldn't give up his ultra-active lifestyle when considering professional options. He told Inside Edition that he eats normally and spends his time normally. His current day job, though, was far from traditional. Richard burns himself on fire and jumps from cliffs for a living. Six days a week, he works as a stuntman at Universal Studios' Waterworld show. While few expected Sandrak to work in an office, most didn't expect Richard to be a stuntman. He was a natural after years of performing on stage and in front of cameras. Sandrak has stopped lifting totally. It just got boring, he said. He realized he didn't want to spend his entire life in the gym, so he stopped doing them. Stunt work is a daunting task for many. Considering Richard's childhood, the career is a walk in the park. But he has some dreams for the future when he's done being a stuntman. What is Richard Sandrak's dream job after years of training? He desires to be a quantum scientist. He aspires to be a NASA engineer. Despite his past experiences, Richard is confident in his talents. After all, the young man possesses self-discipline and determination. Richard does not regret his time as a bodybuilder. People seem to attempt to make me out to be a freak of nature, but there were many youngsters who had comparable physiques, he told Inside Edition. Even though he lacks the muscle of his youth, he embraces the new Richard. No matter how his body looks, he's never been ashamed of his self-esteem. The world's strongest boy did not paint Richard in the best light. Controversy surrounded his father, profession, and childhood. He was accused of using steroids and sweeping medical assumptions, all of which were televised nationwide. Developing his childhood strength was a difficulty for most people. Living in the public eye was probably more difficult than any workout. Richard's upbeat attitude is nothing short of astounding. Richard may no longer be famous, but he's grown to appreciate the solitude of normal life. Stepping into his past and future, he's dedicated to his happiness and health. Living the bachelor life in Los Angeles has been refreshing. Sandrak will likely never stop pushing himself, emotionally and physically. Without a doubt, Little Herc will continue to dazzle spectators wherever he ends up. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.